Welcome to Pip's Rainbow. Okay, so here's a video on how to use this faux fur yarn. Okay, so today we're gonna to learn how to use this faux fur yarn, which is extremely soft. I can't really describe how soft it is. It's amazing. My daughter found this one in an um, amazing shop called Wool on the X in Exeter and she found it under their window under their window display and fell in love with it straight away so obviously it was a anismus for me to make her a little teddy bear which i'll just show you okay so here's the little teddy bear that i made with the cedar faux fur yarn um, for my daughter um here's free pattern will be on my blog and i'll put the link at the end of this video clip um, as you can see, he's rather well loved already and very, very soft and snuggly. So the video, um, so this video tutorial is about basically how to use this yarn because it's a little bit interesting in the sense that you can't quite see where your crochet hook is going. Um, but it's great, great fun, but definitely not for the faint hearted and definitely not one to do when it's extremely dark in your room. Um, this is one to do when you've got good lighting. So um, it's from Sidar, which is an, an amazing company. And it says on the back to use a 10 mil crochet hook. Now I tried it with a 10 mil crochet hook and that was on the large side and quite gappy. Um, so I've actually gone for a seven mil hook um, just because we're doing a toy and obviously you usually um, reduce your hook size when you're making a toy. Um, so that stuffing doesn't come out. Now, when I did work with, um, with this yarn, there are, when you work it with like a 10 mil or a nine mil, there really is some quite big uh, holes, but with the, with the seven mil, you can kind of feel a little bit of space, but not a lot. And I think once this sort of like fluffs up and balls up, I think the, um, the seven mil hook's gonna work quite well. Okay, so let's get started. Right, let's find the end of this wool. So, got our little end. And we're going to start by making a magic ring. So as usual, yarn over and then grab that little tail and pull through. And that gives you your magic ring. Okay, so now we're going to chain one into that magic ring because this is for, a, we're going to be using double crochet. I'm going to pull that through. And then we're gonna start our six double crochets into that ring. Now, top tip for this pattern or for crocheting with this yarn is you need to be able to, um, you need to count your, your stitches just to make sure you've got it right. So one, two, three, uh, four. Notice how I'm sort of like putting my finger down there just to, Anchor it down a bit. So, can you see? They're quite tricky to see. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so I know I've done six double crochet stitches, but we're just gonna check and see if we can see. Can you see there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Can you see how you can see the sort of end of the fur? That's basically what you're going to be looking for. Now, with a magic ring, normally you would just pull your tail um, tight and then the ring would close, which is what it's doing. But the, the other thing I found with this yarn is it's quite, because it's so soft and silky, is that it can undo. So what you need to do is secure that, so the inside of it, so turn it over with literally just a simple knot. So pull it really, really tight. And then I actually just did two knots. So I just pull it through and pull it down, whoops. And again, just to secure that magic ring, because I found when I was making the teddy bear, the, um, it, it, was, it was opening up. And there we've got our magic ring with six double crochet stitches. Okay, so now it's time to find those stitches. So I'm going to count back. One, two, three, four, five. And I can feel one there, so six. You've just basically got to use feel, really, and trust that you're in the right place. So hook in, pull through, yarn over. Now, 
I'm going to do two, so it's normal amigurami increase, so two in each, two stitches in each, uh, in each stitch. Again, count where you're going because you're going to get in a pickle otherwise. So I've done two. Now, can you see, I can't really see where I'm going in, but you can feel that that is the next place. I think because it's got such a big hook size, it's a lot easier. I can imagine if this was a really small uh, weight, you'd struggle even more. Um, but for me, it was quite exciting because it was sort of, it was like you were crocheting in the dark in some ways. Um, but I definitely think this seven mil hook is the right one to go by. Right, so I've done six, six work, six crochet, um, double crochets there. Okay, so let's go back in. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. So I know I've increased six times there because I've done six, tw um, six times two, so twelve double crochet stitches. Can you see how fluffy it is? It is pretty cool. Um, but again, can you see that you've got your little V's there? That's where your stitches are. Now, really important start stitch marker. Can't do without with this one. Um, so place that over as normal, and then you're going to work one double crochet and then two in the next to create that increase. So two to make three. Now sometimes it gets a little bit fiddly like then. If it is a bit fiddly, just pull it out and start again. Okay, don't try and force it. There's a reason why it's not coming coming through. So that's three, four, and then five, and six. Let's get that yarn stitch out of the way. Seven, eight, nine, okay, so 10, 11, and 12, so that's two together. So I'm working my way up to 18. And then, so I've done 12, 13, 14, and 15. And then the last increase, so one in the next one to make 16. And the next stitch has two in it to make 18. Now I know I'm in the right place. I've counted my 18 stitches. So I know I've done enough stitches and my yarn marker's there. So I know I'm correct. And there you have the increasing uh, an amigurami um, crocheting with this fantastic faux fur yarn. The other thing I did want to quickly show you is how to decrease. Now that's another, a bit of a tricky one because again, you can't quite see where you're going, but you can do it by feel. So I can feel there, there are two parts to, to my V. And when you decrease, you know, you go through the fr front one only. Okay, so you're literally just gonna have to work that, find that one, and then find the next one. Okay, so that's your start of your decrease. Yarn over as normal and pull through. <laughs> you see, it's getting a little bit fiddly. Oh, let's try again. So yarn in for the first one, yarn into the second one, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through to do your decrease. And there you have it. So this is what it should start to look like as you're working your way through the pattern. Um, you can kind of see your rows, and you can, but you can definitely feel. So it's, it's, it's a fun one to do. This is gonna be something, it's not gonna be a teddy bear, it's gonna be a new project, but I will um, post that on my blog as soon as I can. Um, so yeah. Don't forget, you can find the free pattern to this rather snuggly teddy bear using the faux fur yarn on my blog. Thanks for listening. I hope you find this tutorial really useful. Remember, there's loads of other free tutorials and patterns and stitch tutorials on my blog. And the website is www.pitchrainbow.com. Thank you. Bye.